Hey, it's Scott Rockfile back with another podcast review. Well, kind of review and discussion. Going to be talking about uh, No Man's Sky. I played a recent expedition. It was the first time for me, and I want to talk about it. No Man's Sky is a video game, and they came out in 2016, and they're still supporting it. Hello Games and Sony Interactive have put a lot into this game. When it was released, it was a bit of a disappointment because they promised all these things. But now, in 2023, moving into 2024, the game has not only uh, met all of its expectations, but it has surpassed them. Matter of fact, if Starfield hadn't come out this past year, there'd be nothing out there like this game at all. So in the beginning, for those that don't know, No Man's Sky was a game where you could literally start on a planet, jump in your spaceship, fly into space, fly to another planet, land on the planet, get out, do stuff, collect stuff, get back in your spaceship, fly to another planet, um, fly to a space station, interact with people, find mysteries, talk to aliens, go do stuff, discover things. The universe is procedurally generated on servers elsewhere. When you log in, you're seeing things for the first time. These are the first time some of these worlds have been created. It's very exciting. Um, in the beginning, it was very sparse and kind of boring. But as they added the ability to make bases, as they added the ability to have animal companions, uh, to customize ships, to have freighters, now you can do all sorts of stuff. Pretty much anything you want to do in a space game, you can do in No Man's Sky. So they've started having these expeditions. Now, a lot of games that have an online component have done these limited run they call them seasons, they'll call them expeditions, they'll call them whatever. Um, and they're limited timed events that you can get specialty items in. If you want to play, if you want to play with other people, if you want to play online, or in this case, the expeditions, you can play multiplayer or not. Um, but basically, you follow their rules, start a new game, you don't get to carry all the stuff like... The longer you play a game like No Man's Sky, you have multiple ships, you have a freighter, you have a base, you have all sorts of stuff, right? So my buddy Bill suggested I play an expedition. Um, it was a time thing. It was only going to be available for a week over the holidays. I had not played the game in a while. Um, I booted it up when I got my PS5 a few months ago, and it looks great. But I wasn't really, you know, it, I, I brought up my old save game in, and I had a base, and I had some ships, and... I had my stuff, but with the expeditions, you start from scratch. It's basically to see how fast you can do something because they only give you a short amount of time to do it. This was start on a planet, repair a ship enough to get off the planet, and you, by jumping through a few hoops and going to a couple different planets, you would get the Golden Vector. It is a special spaceship that they've only given out like one other time years ago when they first started doing expeditions. Um, if you can complete all the tasks, you will get one of these ships to be, it'll be yours. You can customize it. You can do whatever. So my buddy really wanted the ship and he was talking about it. He said, this is something they've only done like once. And it was, I never got a chance to do it. And you can't get this ship any other way, but you have to complete this expedition. And I thought, okay, I don't, that doesn't really sound like something I want to do, but he spoke very highly of it. And I did want to play the game a little bit more. I hadn't played it in a while and I've owned the game. This is one of the two games I've talked about in other podcasts, uh, this and Subnautica, that if you bought the games when they originally came out years ago, you've gotten every upgrade, every add-on, every, they have supported it. So I've never, you know, I think I bought it on sale for 20 bucks. And here we are, that was a 2016 purchase. Here in 2023, I sunk three full days into this game. It took me about 13, 14 hours total. I didn't play all day and all night, but over three days, that's, you know, four hours a day plus. Um, so you start on a planet. You have to jump through some pretty serious hoops. Uh, there's some weird things you have to get. There's some weird things you have to build, some weird things you have to repair. But at the end of three days, I did it. And I got to say, when I look at this golden vector, it literally is a golden ship until you start customizing it. It's, it looks like it's made out of gold, the engines, everything. It, it's beautiful. It's fast. It's powerful. It's everything you want in a spaceship. Uh, the first time I went up against some space pirates, I hadn't done anything to customize it, and I just wiped up with them. I mean, I do. it's not even funny. Um, so I love the ship, and it's wonderful. And now I'm, I'm playing the game more. So all of this was to say, 
if you've ever played this game and you haven't played it recently, or this sounds like something you'd be interested in, try No Man's Sky. You can get it cheap. Matter of fact, I think it's free on PlayStation Plus. Um, maybe not, but it's still, it's not horribly expensive. Um, they keep updating it. The, these expeditions that run, this was the most fun I had ever had with the game. I guess because things were timed, there is a, a trend in some of these open world games like this one. You can go get lost on your own time and I'll get bored with it. Like I'll go out in some corner of the universe trying to find more gold or more platinum or more some special thing to, to make my spaceship better. Um, and I'll just kind of get lost in doing that and building a base and in my own corner of the world, not following the storyline, not following the mystery, just kind of just hanging out in this weird online universe. And then I'll lose interest for a while and then I'll come back. Um, but this, with some of these types of expeditions, um, Diablo does these seasons and things. I've played some of those and I get it. I like getting uh, loot that you can't get any other time. And especially if it's going to make playing the game better, but this is a little bit different. This was like um, a crash course in playing the game as quickly as possible, doing all this stuff. Unlike timed missions, you, you had to get all this done within a week and, I've played a lot over the years, but I'm not exactly an expert of it. Some of it was pretty hard for me. But again, the feeling of accomplishment three days and you get this ship, it's like, wow. Really, my buddy plays Starfield a lot. It really makes me able to play Starfield because you can literally build your spaceships from scratch in that game. But now I have a giant cruiser, my freighter. Um, I keep my ships on it. I'm customizing that. Um, I'm now more into No Man's Sky than I've ever been, just based on this one expedition I played over the holidays. So... Um, it was definitely worth playing, and they're doing expeditions all the time. I don't know if the loot is always as worthy as this ship is, but the ship was pretty impressive, the Golden Vector. Uh, go look it up. Go Google it. Go check it out on YouTube. There's a lot of guys. Uh, somebody did a speed run and did it like five hours. Yeah, it took me like almost 14, but anyway. Uh, it's a worthy game, and it's a worthy uh, a thing to do, one of these expeditions. And if you're an old, st if you're a gamer that's been playing for years, you've probably done this and destiny or diablo or or fallout or you know many many games have online seasons or timed events kind of things but this was my first time to fabulous that it was a great way to play the game very entertaining and uh very enjoyable so there you go a little bit about the golden vector which by the way is now over sorry but i finished it like a day before it was over so i really couldn't post a podcast and let hey i i did this in enough time so you could go do it unfortunately no but um you know subscribe to all things hello games and playstation and i'm sure when the golden vector comes back around sometime you'll be able to play an expedition to get your golden vector pretty cool ship i'm scott i'm rockfile i'm a bit of a nerd thanks for listening to a podcast and have a spectacular day